Welcome back to New Cars Technology. Today we're diving into the world of automotive innovation with the all-new 2020 for Ford Puma. With the Ford Fiesta no longer in production as of 2023, the spotlight now falls heavily on the Puma crossover to uphold the legacy of the discontinued Super Mini. This elevated hatchback remains Ford's top-selling passenger car in Europe and is set to receive a mid-cycle refresh for 2024. Externally, the subcompact crossover sees minimal alterations, although Ford mentions the incorporation of Matrix LED technology in the claw-like signature headlights. The updated badge now finds its place on the front grille with subtle revisions. Rear-end modifications seem absent, yet customers can select from a palette of six colors, including the fresh edition of Cactus Grey, along with various wheel options ranging from 17 to 19 inches. When you open the doors, you're greeted by a projection of the Puma logo on the ground. Inside, the cabin undergoes significant changes with the installation of the new SYNC 4 infotainment system. The dashboard now features a pair of screens, and the center air vents have been repositioned at the top to make space for the 12.0-inch touchscreen. Adjacent to it, the 12.8-inch digital instrument cluster is no longer fully integrated into the dash. Ford is streamlining the engine options for the Puma, particularly in Europe, where the four-cylinder 1.5-liter diesel engine is no longer available. Furthermore, the high-performance ST model bids farewell to its turbocharged 1.5-liter gasoline engine and six-speed manual gearbox. Instead, the updated model will come equipped with a smaller 1.0-liter unit paired with a seven-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission. This represents a significant reduction in power compared to the previous iteration of the Puma ST, which boasted 197 horsepower and 320 newton meters, 236 pound feet of torque. The revised version, introduced nearly a year ago, now delivers just 168 horsepower and 248 newton meters, 183 lbft of torque. Despite the downgrade, the mild hybrid engine enables the car to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in 7.4 seconds, which is 0.7 seconds slower than its predecessor with the larger 1.5 liter engine. Its top speed remains at 130 miles per hour, 210 kilometers per hour. The non-ST Puma models are also receiving a turbocharged 1.0 liter engine, available in two power outputs. 123 horsepower with 210 newton meters 154 lbft of torque or 153 horsepower with 240 newton meters 176 lbft of torque the lower powered version of this three-cylinder engine can be paired with a six-speed manual gearbox achieving a sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour 100 kilometers per hour in 9.8 seconds Opting for the 7-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission reduces this time to 9.6 seconds. The more potent variant of the EcoBoost engine is only available with automatic transmission and enables the stylish crossover to reach 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in 8.7 seconds. As previously announced in 2022, Ford will also introduce a fully electric variant, the Puma Jenny, later this year. This electric model is expected to maintain a similar appearance, inheriting the platform from the gasoline-powered version. Production of the EV will take place alongside the regular variants at Ford's factory in Craiova, Romania. Thank you for joining us in exploring the all-new 2020 for Ford Puma. With its stylish design, versatile interior, and advanced technology, it's a compact SUV that's ready for anything. Don't forget to subscribe for more automotive content, and we'll see you next time on New Cars Technology.